First of all, we got the Waffleizers today. Hey, everybody, how's it going? It's Thursday, it's four o'clock. I'm glad you guys are here. We are gonna use the PowerXL Waffleizer today. And listen, our motto with the Waffleizer is if you can dream it, you can stuff it. So how does it get any better than that? We're gonna stuff our waffles today. I'm actually making you a bonus waffle today because the recipe I put out there was, okay, it's a cinnamon roll croissant stuffed with apples, topped with Lucky Charms, and we have other toppings as well. It's gonna be really, really cool. It's gonna be fun to make. We have a St. Patty's Day theme on it. Now, just, just not Irish. Doesn't mean we can't all have a little Irish on St. Patty's Day in us, right? That's what I'm told. My kids are very Irish because my <laughs> wife is. I'm not, even though everybody thinks I am. So anyway, <laughs> here we go. We're gonna start with the dessert and then I'm gonna make the bonus waffle. So I'm actually gonna plug this in so it gets hot because maybe by the time we're done, you'll actually see how fast these come up. All right, so what's the first step? All right, Max. Uh, Bruce Locke asks, can you make a pizza in the waffleizer? Yeah, and you know what, Bruce? Just stick with us because after this, I'm going to make something. It's not a pizza, but you'll be able to figure out how to make a pizza from what I do. So stick with me. All right, so let's get right into the, um, the main course today, which is the dessert. Little St. Patty's Day stuffed waffle. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with our crescent rolls. Now these are those cinnamon rolls that you get in the refrigerator section of any supermarket. You put them down here just like this. Now remember, they're gonna puff up, so you don't have to cover the whole surface. All right, so I'm gonna smash these down. Now guys, this'll be hot once it heats up, so use a spatula. Hi, Christine. Don't be like me. And then, look what I did here. These are apples for pie and I dyed them green because it's St. Patty's Day. Everything's green on St. Patty's Day, right? Then what you do is you take a couple of tablespoons of the filling and we pop it in right here just like this. Now you can overfill it but as long as you can close the waffleizer you're in good shape. So I'm just going to put this around just like this. Now I love the green apples inside. It's really gonna be fun because what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put in some Lucky Charms. So these Lucky Charms have crunch, they have marshmallows, and they have color. And because it's nonstick, none of the stuff that's falling over matters. Then what we do is we take a second layer of these delicious, magical, what do you even call these, Max? These are, it's like a magical refrigerator biscuit. <laughs> uh, <a laughs> That's cinnamon a cinnamon roll. roll. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it doesn't really get much better than that. Now, excuse the, the uh, green dye on my hands, you guys. I'm going to smash that down like that. And then what I do is I put the lid down, give it a press, and then I flip it. Hi, KDB. Oh, KDB's here. Hey, what's going on? So now I'm not even gonna clip it because when you're using the dough, you don't really need to clip it. When you make waffles because it's batter, you wanna clip it. But with the dough, you don't need to clip it because what's gonna happen is just the weight of the waffle will be enough. And you'll see, this is gonna come up. It's actually probably just a couple of minutes. I'll be able to lift the lid so you guys can see what's going on inside. Now, we did, that was the main course, but we're not done with this yet because you're going to see the finished product and how we're going to serve it. Now, I think it was Bruce asked about making pizza. Well, this is what we're going to do. I'm actually going to make a corned beef and Swiss pizza. Stuffed waffle pizza, right? So, uh, it's really simple. Now, here I'm using pizza crust. This is the refrigerator dough pizza crust. Again, it's like a marvel of magic that Pillsbury or somebody created, and uh, it doesn't really get much better. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna take it right out of the can, because I love this. Now, my friend David Venable over at QVC, he calls these wampum, because you get to womp it. <laughs> I love doing that. So every time I, I do this, I think of him. So I just womped it, and let me show you how easy it is to make a stuffed waffle pizza 
Now I lay the dough down just like right here, just so it's gonna expand so you're in good shape. Then I'm gonna take a lot, because I want a nice stuffed pizza. I'm gonna put the corned beef down. I'm gonna put a ton of cheese. Look, that's a lot of cheese. That's four slices of Swiss. I'm gonna top it with more corned beef. And then I just take the dough and I'm just gonna flip it right back over and tuck it in. You're gonna be shocked how quickly this comes up. We're gonna serve this just with a plain mustard because it's just a sandwich, right? You can see, see how that's popping open like that? That's really cool. All right, so while these are cooking, I'm gonna take uh, one of them out. I think I'm gonna take the, uh, let's take the uh, St. Patty's uh, version out first. What do you got, Max? Bruce Locke um, yeah. asks how the lights work on the waffleizer. Oh, well, that's a great question. All right, so if you come up here, I actually have to flip it. So the red light now, because it's flipped, is just telling me that it's on. But on this side, I have a red and a green light. So when I plug it in, the red light comes on. I don't put my filling in, say I'm making waffles, until the green light comes in. The green light tells me that it's time I can put my food on the, in, inside the waffle. Now, it does not tell you when it's done, and I'm gonna show you why, because it's a stuffed waffle. We didn't want you to just be stuck making waffle batter. So I'm making crescent waffles, we call them croffles. I'm making pizza waffles. I'm making all sorts of different kinds of waffles with different kinds of dough. So we wanted to be able to uh, do all that and we didn't want to confuse you with having a timer on it. So with that said, now I made this ahead of time. I'm just keeping it warm. Now you can see all the green popping through on the top. And the fun part about making the waffles is you never know what they're gonna look like inside till you cut them open. Now this is Max's favorite part because I, I'm gonna top it. Now look at Ooh. that. So I'm gonna take this and put it on top of this so you guys can really see. That's all my beautiful St. Patty's Day stuffing, which is apples. Now what we're going to do, hey Max, get in close here. Now I'm going to put some glaze. Now this is just a regular glaze that comes with the waffles. And then I'm not done yet because on top of the glaze, I'm going to put more Lucky Charms because I love the colors. And then on top of that, we have some green whipped cream. Now, if that doesn't look like a St. Patty's Day treat, you guys, I don't know what more I can do, but um, I think that looks pretty fun and pretty delicious. <laughs> so I don't, know, um, I don't know what you guys are thinking, but I'd love to hear what you think of that. So I'm gonna pop this over here. So we wanna make sure everybody can still see that because it's really pretty. Terry says her waffleizer pizza turned out great. Oh, good, that's awesome. What, maybe you could tell us what uh, you put in it. If uh, you can get back and Max sees it, we'll, uh, that'll be fun. Now I'm gonna just go back to my oven and now I'm gonna grab out. Now this is my sandwich. Here we go. Now this is the corned beef sandwich that we made. That's the one that's uh, in here. You can see it's starting to rise, isn't that fun? And then this one's starting to rise. See that, see how pretty that looks? You just have to be patient, let it cook all the way through. You'll know it's done because when you touch it, it, it's firm. Once it's firm, you know it's, it's good to go. Now, let's take a look inside our sandwich waffle. And again, this is our pizza dough waffle. Look at that. I mean, look at the cheese inside there. I mean, this is enough. Literally, Max tried to eat one of these by himself one day. Uh, I make him a pizza waffle. And he's never finished it. These are much bigger than they look. Now, PowerXL does have a five inch version, this is the seven inch that I'm using. But look, look how great this sandwich looks. Max, if you can get super close to this, just to show everybody what a tower of waffle pizza would look like. I mean, that's pretty damn impressive. Um, Who else is, uh, who's asking questions? Who's out uh, there? Carla asks, uh, where is the waffleizer available? Oh, well, literally, um, I know it's available on QVC, 
It's pretty much available at, uh, I believe it's at Target. It's available at PowerXLProducts.com. I know the five inch version is at Walmart, but I'm not sure about the other sizes. But you can always go on to PowerXLProducts.com and all that stuff is there for you to see. Uh, Bruce Locke asks, how do you make the waffle crispy? Oh, well, it's, see, look, look, I'm just gonna lift this up now. It's not done yet, but you can see it's starting to crisp up on the top. And, you know, you flip it over, you look at the back like this, see? So you just kind of control it by lifting it and, and taking a look inside. See, this guy's starting to brown. Takes, th these waffles, now a regular waffle only takes about six or seven minutes. When you make these giant ones and you stuff them with all this deliciousness, I mean, they, they can take, you know, 12, 15 minutes. And uh, it's worth the wait, trust me. I'm just gonna fix this up because my, I don't want my uh, whipped cream to let me down here, but they're still really hot, so. <laughs> it's just so much fun. <laughs> Max, I know Max is eyeing this up <laughs> big time. Jesse couldn't be uh, here with us today, but uh, I, I saw all your warm wishes and, and we appreciate it. So thank you very much. And uh, Max is uh, always happy to step in and help me out. And I appreciate that. I saw 10 color pen was out there. Um, 10 color, you know, look, I got a bigger plant back there because you said my house was cold and boring. Um, <laughs> so, you know, listen, I listened to you guys and uh, I love those crazy comments. So uh, don't ever be afraid to. <laughs> Make fun uh, of me because I love it. Uh, Steffi asks, um, how do you stop the viscousness of the dough? Well, I'm using refrigerator dough, right? So if you let it, I'm telling you right now, don't let it out too long. You want to take it right out of the refrigerator and use it. So um, you're, you're literally taking it out of the fridge, opening it, putting it inside, and then it's cooking. So you're not going to have any trouble at all. The only trouble that you can have is that you didn't cook it long enough. And cooking it long enough is literally just a question of turning it around and taking a look to see. Now you can see this is still white, so it's, it's not ready yet. We want it to look like this one. And um, you just do that by waiting. <laughs> it's pretty foolproof, really. Um, Anybody else out there, Max? I Bruce see a lot Locke of Bruce Locke asked if, you can, if you'd consider making a waffleizer cookbook. Well, that has been discussed. So um, we are, we're talking about that. Um, this product ships with a fair amount of recipes. I wanna say at least off the top of my head, I think it's about 20 or 25 really cool ones. And then once you kind of get into the book that we, we ship in with it, you will kind of understand all that you can do. I mean, we literally do everything from um, like, we take uh, chicken nuggets, we put chicken nuggets and French fries and stuff that inside a waffle. I mean, it goes on and on and on. And then if you, uh, I was uh, presenting this on QVC. I think I did about 20 different waffles on QVC. So, uh, you know, tune in. We're going we're gonna to give you lots of ideas. I mean, just, you know, the uh, apple pie with the cinnamon rolls and, and the uh, corned beef and cheese is a great way to go. So, this, listen, this corned beef and cheese could easily be uh, pizza sauce and mozzarella. Uh, it could be um, a Swiss, and, I mean, uh, cheddar and, and like, uh, I'm losing my train of thought here. <laughs> cheddar and roast beef. It could go on and on and on. You, 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 can, you can make it up as you go. Max like mushrooms and onions with cheese. Mm -hmm. That's always a really good yeah, one too. Yeah, that was too. great. But listen, hey, you guys, um, this is fun. I, Max, just get another shot of that, that, that because St. Patty's Day is coming up. I hope that you guys uh, will have fun this coming weekend. See, uh, <laughs> maybe you'll make a waffle that looks crazy like that. But you know, the Lucky Charms are, are, are the way to go. I mean, Lucky Charms, definitely my favorite cereal growing up. I think Max might still be his favorite cereal. I think they are mine too. And um, listen, if you guys could like and share, I'd really appreciate it. One last thing before we go, I just wanna remind everybody that my cookbook, Loving Your Air Fryer is still on pre-order on Amazon. It's also available at QVC. So if you wanna get the most out of your air fryer, you wanna get a healthier crunch, as, a, as I like to say, you'll love Loving Your Air Fryer. Sorry for the shameless plug, but hey, if I don't do it, no one will. <laughs> I'll see you guys next week. Um, 